So sometimes our clients or we are not able to do large movements. So the idea of the next two exercises is that we're going to be working with, with, with what they call micro movements. And micro movements are small movements that will still have the same calming effect in terms of calming the nervous system. The way that they do this is that they work on relaxing the vagus nerve and the vagus nerve starts in the neck. So anything that we're working with that includes the face or the neck is going to have that calming effect. The idea behind these is also that you can do them anywhere. You can do them in your chair, you can do them while you're driving, you can do them anywhere that feels comfortable. Um, they're not large, they're not exaggerated, but they still have the same effect on the nervous system. So the first micro movement that we're going to do is going to start in the neck and is referred to as the infinity movement. Now with the infinity, you're going to slowly move your chin and head in the shape of an infinity symbol. So if you remember, the infinity symbol kind of goes in and out like that. Now some people choose to move up and down, but you have to see what feels comfortable with your body. It's totally up to you. So the idea is that you move, and again, you can do this with your eyes open or shut. I've done it both ways. Um, it's absolutely up to you. There's no difference in terms of the calming effect with any of the exercises, whether you have your eyes open or shut. It's entirely what feels good and feels comfortable for you. I always say though, try and play around with it both ways if you're open to that, because sometimes you'll find that that effect is intensified either with the eyes open or shut. So you're just going to slowly move your head and your chin in the shape of an infinity symbol. Now the idea is not to do a large movement, just a very small movement. Now as you settle into a rhythm with this, you can play around with trying to sync your breathing. movement. Sometimes that we find that sinking the breathing to the movement actually allows us to slow the movement down. We might start off quite fast, but once we get into our rhythm, It allows us to sync the body with the movement. It also helps keep the movement slow. So if you're using this particularly for a down regulation exercise, it will help you continue to keep the movement slow or to move in from a hyper aroused state into a slower state. 